it's Barbara from Divine Creative Love and for this tutorial we're gonna dive into Psalm 23 and we're gonna talk about uh, one of what it means that God is our Good Shepherd now this is a very popular uh, you know well-known psalm so I wanted to dig a little deeper into uh, the meaning of it and so I looked up kind of what it means to be a shepherd and then I looked up some different Bible translations and I came up with this list of qualities of God as our Good Shepherd. He's our counselor, guide, mentor, friend, provider, and protector. And I have this uh, sweet little st uh, stamp set from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. And I'm going to combine it with this uh, kind of sunburst stencil. So I'll be using both of those and we're going to be painting with shellactos. So let's speed things up and first thing I want to do is use uh, archival ink to stamp with. So I've got this really adorable little heart stamp with the image of God as our good shepherd and then the little, the little uh, sheep in the background. So I'm stamping that with the archival ink. And this type of ink is really great for when you're going to paint over the stamped image or anything like that where you need it to be waterproof because that ink won't budge when you when you paint over it. So here I'm just cleaning this stamp really good with a damp paper towel. got this uh, Good Shepherd stamp that I'm adding on the right side with the archival ink. And same thing with this, I'm uh, just cleaning it up. Sometimes the um, ink leaves a little bit of staining behind. Sometimes the ink don't stain that much, but the archival ink, it does stain just a little bit. So I usually just wipe it off as best I can. And the staining won't matter for the next time, it's just, it just shows up a little bit. And then I have this sweet little sheep stamp that I'm going to stamp with some pigment ink. Normally I wouldn't advise using pigment ink when I'm planning on uh, stamp on uh, painting with it later. But this time I only had uh, black or purple of the archival ink to choose from, so I really wanted to stamp the sheep in gray. So I used my pig pigment ink to stamp it. And you'll notice in the center of that uh, heart image, part of God's face actually didn't uh, stamp very well, very cl clearly. So I'm just using my Pigma Micron pen to go over it. So now you can see see God's face better. And then I'm going to use this stencil to kind of create a starburst around the heart. And usually with gelatos, I would put the gelatos straight onto the stencil. But in this case, I want it to be very precise and only certain parts of the stencil to be covered. So I'm going to uh, trace it with the pencil and then we'll come back in later with the gelatos. So you can see I'm just tracing certain parts of the stencil. Just all around the edge of the heart. And then I decided to go back in and add a little bit more of the dots around that starburst. And 
then I'm just taking an eraser and erasing the pencil lines so they're only just barely visible. You can't really see them on the video very well, but they're still there just enough so that I can see where to paint on them. That way the pencil lines won't show up later after I've painted on them. So now we're going to start painting with the gelatos. So I have three different gelato sets. There's the two of iridescent sets and then there's a metallic set and I'm kind of picking and choosing colors from each set depending on what colors that I want for that stamped image. What I like to do with the gelatos is just squirt a little bit of water onto the palette and then just smear some of the pigment onto the palette and then use the wet paintbrush to pick up the pigment. And that works really well for painting, especially painting like in a very um, specific area like with this little paintbrush. You'll see in some of my, my other videos I've used gelatos to paint whole backgrounds before and in those cases I usually just spray the um, water directly onto the pigment and then just mix it all together but in this case I'm using it kind of separately with a little droplet of water and then the pigment separate. So now I'm just picking up a little bit of silver for the clouds. And I started out with this light green color for the grass, but then I decided it was too light and I decided to change to a darker green. So that looks a lot better. It shows up much better. And I love how cute this stamp is. It's just perfect for that second verse of Psalm 23, which says, He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. So there's God as our good shepherd and the little green pastures and then the little sheep in the background. It's so sweet. And here you can barely see the that white pigment on the palette. I just used the white uh, to color in the little sheep. And then I chose this bronze color for God's staff. And I'm using the same color for the little staff that goes with the Good Shepherd. The next thing I wanted to figure out is what uh, color to use for God's hair and face and hand. So I was trying out this darker color. It looked a little too dark. It's kind of an intimidating decision, you know, when you've got an image of God and you're like what you know what color is his hair what color is his skin you know what's what color is he's where what color is he wearing on so I ended up combining two colors to make the hair color
And then I use that kind of rosy pink color for his face and his hand. And then the last part of that heart is just to color in his robe. And I, I chose purple because purple was a regal kind of color. So I thought that would be appropriate. And then I just colored in with the darker, uh, almost black color for the belt on his robe. And I just wanted to start with a completely clean palette because the next thing I'm doing here is coloring in that uh, sunburst around the heart and I wanted to use some kind of bright sunny colors so I chose that um, really rich pink and orange colors. So I started off just coloring in parts of the stenciled image with the pink. And then at first I couldn't decide whether where, where to put the orange and how to kind of arrange the colors, but you'll see here in a minute, I decided to kind of alternate the colors. You can see how pretty that turned out. I just really like how that uh, effect it kind of makes the image of God as a good shepherd and the little sheep. It makes it really pop. So then I just went back in and added some pink to that little heart and then I added some pink to the hearts on the sheep. It's kind of hard to see because I stamped that image so light but the little sheep design had some hearts in it. It was really adorable.
And I'm being really careful since I stamped it in pigment ink to try not to disturb the stamped lines because pigment ink can really uh, run and get kind of smudged if you paint over it with a watercolor or any kind of paint really. And I decided to use silver and white to color in the, the sheep's wool. cute that sheep is. It really does kind of represent us as God's sheep, as God's children. So the next thing I'm going to do is write in those words that describe God as our good shepherd and I'm choosing, uh, I was looking at either a pink or an orange color of the glitter gel pens. And I settled on a pink color. And the only uh, drawback about the illustrating Bible is sometimes those coils do get in the way of writing. In this case, I was going to write so close to the edge, they were, they were getting in the way of my hand. So I just put some things underneath the pages to lift up the pages a little bit to make it easier to write on. So God is our good shepherd, our counselor, guide, mentor, friend, provider, and protector. And then I just decided to go in and outline the little hearts on the sheet with the gel pen. So you can see how really, really sweet that turned out. And it's hard to see the shimmery aspect of the gelatos on the camera, but you can kind of see it a little bit. They really do look so much prettier in person. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. Bye!